Madden, the staple for any sports lover. I used to love bringing a friend over to play Madden with me. I still do, but as the real football lover I am, it's hard for me to ignore the problems with the game. Today, I'm going to be talking about how Madden has literally became garbage. Nay, I say this game isn't even worth being thrown in the garbage. It should have its own little special place that's lower than trash. I'm going to be talking about everything I find bad about the new Maddens, and I might be nitpicking about some of the topics I say, but to me, every problem is worth talking about. So sit back and enjoy while I explain why Madden just isn't the same as it once was. Okay, there was too much problems for me to just randomly talk about, so I decided to have two categories, gameplay and presentation. I believe if you nail both of these categories, then you should have a damn near perfect game, but Madden 24 somehow seemed to get an F- minus on both. So let's get it started off with the gameplay. Used to, the gameplay felt smooth and refined, and actually skill based, to where if you were better at the game than someone else, then you could win. Nowadays though, the story's different. The computer misses tackles or just ignores them completely. When I'm running the ball, I want to know that my team will be there to hold a block for me. In the newer Maddens, this isn't so. Take a look. Again, So, as you can see, I'm like, alright, cool, I see the pancakes happening, so I'm going to turn around and I'm going to try and, you know, run through the middle, because this is practically a free touchdown, or so I thought. As I tried to go and make my way up the middle, back up the middle, I see my lineman literally turning back around to go find something to block rather than just you rather than them just leading a convoy of them and anything that happens to happen. If something pops up in front of me or whatever, they can go and take care of that. But no. Now, this just isn't a one time glitch either. This happens quite frequently in the game. It's not like, I don't know, literally the first Madden ever where they held their blocks and actually tried to block for you but something else had me heated. It's the quarterback mechanics. Literally, the quarterback in Madden 24 is so inaccurate, it's not even funny. There's so many requirements for you to do just to get a simple throw off without it landing right into the defender's hands. You have to set your feet right. You can't throw across your body. You can't be running while you throw. You can't be under even the tiniest bit of pressure, or you might be a victim of the interception curse like this. Now here's Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. And don't get me started on the X-Factors either. Certain X-Factors are way more overpowered and they don't feel balanced at all. Basically, if you guys don't know what an X-Factor is, it's a little trait that certain players can get that gives them special abilities. But this mechanic in the game makes it way unfair for certain players. Like, if your player has the Avalanche X-Factor activated, if they land a low hit stick on you, you will fumble the ball. No ifs, ands, or buts. Second and 11. Smith lost it. And if you have universal coverage on, I don't know, let's say your cornerback, he will always make the receiver drop the ball, even if the receiver has his hands on it. If you have, I don't know, unstoppable force on, you literally always get off your block on the defensive line and you give the quarterback 100% more pressure, which basically means you can definitely get off the defender. And if you're even anywhere in the vicinity of the quarterback, the game will make the quarterback get under pressure and force him to throw a bad ball. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Plus, for some weird reason, if you don't have Lurker on a middle linebacker, he can't even intercept the ball when it goes right over his head. And I haven't even talked about the offensive X factors yet. Whoa, buddy, check it out. If you have Omaha active for your quarterback, you literally are able to see the fucking defense. Let, just let that sink in real quick, guys. Oh, look, we got Omaha. No hard flat here. Perfect. Well, oh, we did have a hard flat. Well, that's fine because DK's easily got that. And no, we aren't done. Not even close. If you have double me active for a receiver, you literally always catch aggressive catches with one on one coverage. But do you guys know what is stupid? What happens if two X factors collide, you might ask? Well, let's say you have Travis Kelsey with double me and you have Fred Warner with shutdown, which is tighter coverage and more interceptions on contested catches. What will happen when Patty Mahomes throws that ball up? Does the game bug out? Does Travis Kelsey catch it? Does Fred Warner catch it? No, listen, Fred Warner always gets it, 9 times out of 10. If two X-Factors collide for some weird reason, you always throw a pick. It makes no sense. Then you have Freight Train, which is for your running back. With this active, you literally always break your first tackle no matter what. 
It don't matter if you're a 60 overall Eno Benjamin going up against a 99 overall Aaron Donald, you will run him over like a piece of roadkill. And player stats are so unbalanced in this game, it isn't even funny. The only stat you really need is speed. Take Tyree Kill for example. If you're playing as the Dolphins, just run him a streak and he'll always be open 90% of the time because he's faster than everybody on the field. With X factors, stats don't even matter. But without the X factor, stats still barely even matter. If you have 99 overall Justin Jefferson and he's against the 85 overall Jonathan Jones, it all depends on who's going to catch the ball. Like I said, you have to make an almost perfect thrower every time you'll get intercepted. There are literally more interceptions than incomplete passes in this game, it feels like. Crazy interceptions, even on accurate passes, like this one. What you're saying is he can't wait to watch the game film on this <laughs> he's one. He's gonna like that session. Oh, he's gonna love what he sees, but he wants to finish up strong. to be as sharp as what we've seen in this game and he fires one that's intercepted and everything is in a set animation it's not like some older maddens where it was skill based and you the player had to time when you caught the ball and you got to move your wide receiver to where he moves now all of that's thrown out the window and you just hold one button while the ball's in the air and you watch to see what happens and just hope that you catch it and another thing is the constant reuses of the same tackle animations this even includes the hit stick it's the point where you feel like you've been seeing the same tackle every time and now the game is boring. I'd rather have the ragdoll tackles like in Madden 17. And I would definitely love the hit sticks from Madden 11 when the screen would shake. Back at the three. It's a loose ball! EA just doesn't care about the pizzazz anymore it seems. Heck, even blocking the field goal is the same animation every time. You can only block the field goal with two players by the way, which is also stupid. These two players right here with the bees over their head. And you know that the field goal is going to be blocked before you even block it just because it's a set animation that you've seen so many times. Just look at this and you'll know what I'm talking about. Plus, every single player jumps just as high. Even though they all have different jumping stats, this makes no sense either. And the one thing that pisses me off so much it's not even funny is that they changed how you dive. The diving is the same button as giving up and falling on the ground. Except to give up, you press square on PlayStation or X on Xbox. And to dive, you hold square or X. So to dive, there's a frame where your player goes into a give up animation first, then changes its mind because it realizes you want to dive instead. This gives you a split second of not being able to dive when you want which a lot of the time leads to getting tackled before you can even dive. This makes me so mad when I just want to dive, but there's a lag input and it makes me get tackled instead. I've played so many games where it went down to the last second, down to the wire, and if I could just dive when I wanted to, then I would have won, but instead they want me to hold this goddamn button for an extra half of a second longer to dive and then I get tackled and lose. Plus, I don't like how to kick a field goal. I already shake too much, I'm a shaky person, and when you have to hold the stick in a certain direction while you're kicking it, it bugs me. I wish the kicking went back to when you just press three buttons like this. He splits the uprights. There's so many bad things about this game, like the quarterback, when you run with him, he fumbles literally every time. I'm not even joking about this. Lamar Jackson last season only fumbled 11 times all year, and the most he's ever ran in a single game was 26 times against the Bengals. That's an NFL record that he still holds to this day. But if you ran with Lamar Jackson in Madden 24 26 times in one game, you will most likely fumble over 15 times. I promise you, this is not even an exaggeration. No matter what quarterback you are, you will always fumble the ball the same amount of time and you'll almost always fumble the ball if you try to run unless you have a little x factor called truz truz x factor means that you cannot fumble the ball but then sometimes madden still wigs out and you fumble even with truz on like this guy did look at the throw leonard a nice little juke and oh he coughed it up and it's picked up here's just some more things that i found that suck about madden Arcade mode is not fun and it can be easily cheesed. You can force people to fumble and you can always run a Hail Mary and catch it 99% of the time. Also, you can't throw over someone's head like in older Maddens, you just get it picked off. 
also the defensive plays don't do what they should and you can just find one cheesy defense play and win the game by running it every single play. Also, laterals are slow and you can't choose who you want to lateral it to. Also, weather basically has no effects on the game. Also, field sense sucks and basically makes little to no sense and also makes it way harder to get a comeback. Also, every move to avoid a tackle looks the same every time you juke, stiff arm, spin, and plus, when you hurdle, you fumble a lot, and I mean a lot. Also, bubble screens are overpowered and unstoppable in this game. Also, the whole game is filled with glitches like this one. Terms and conditions want to thank Freck Billionaire for posting this clip, which to me sets the tone for how bad this game is. So as you can see, Hardman gets out on the open field on this return. He clearly does the dance celebration. And this is the problem. When you're putting all these things in the game and you don't have a game that functions right, this is the end result. I guess there's no animation for the dance to trigger. So he literally just lays here while the teammates come over and celebrate around his body. Also, pass interference is a set animation to where you can't even attempt to catch the ball after it happens, just like this is happening. Also, you can't hurry players to the line to get the playoff before the clock runs out. Also, offensive lines are overpowered if their stats are even a little bit better than your defense and vice versa. Also, you can't run with your head down. All you get is the truck animation that's only like a half of a second. I mean, you can protect the ball, but that's not the same as trying to be like Walter Payton and just running full speed with your head down. Speaking of Walter Payton, you can't even dive over the line, unlike Madden 11 where you could. These are just some of the problems, and if you think I'm even barely done, you're in for a rude awakening. Like, if your receivers aren't open, they just stand there and don't even try to get open, forcing you to throw an interception or throw the ball out of bounds. While you are in the middle of a play, you can flick the right stick in a direction to move the closest receiver to you in a different direction, but you can only move the one receiver, the one that's closest to you. You can't choose different players or what you want them to do, unlike NBA 2K. Another thing that does not sit right with me is that you can't reach the ball over the line. It's a set animation when you do, and only a few players can even do it. Face of the franchise mode sucks also and has no story, and it does not go in depth about anything. A lot of people didn't like long shot mode from Madden 18 and 19, but I did because it actually gave me a football story that these Maddens lately have been lacking so much of. There's little to no customization in the face of the franchise either. And Madden Ultimate Team is garbage too. It's just a pay to win online frenzy. Whoever has daddy's credit card can get all the 99 overall players and cheese the hell out of you even if you've been playing for years and they just picked the game up. What happened to Madden Moments 2? Used to, you could do these things called Madden Moments where you could relive some of the most memorable moments in recent and past NFL history. This mode was awesome. I don't know why they don't bring that back for real. Meanwhile, Hall of Fame mode from Madden 08 topples any mode from a Madden game since, letting you literally pick your parents and do a combine and do an IQ test and go to the barber or even try to be an actor in a movie. And yes, you can pick any player position you want, even the kicker. Heck, even Madden 08 had X-Factors all the way back then. They just weren't named X-Factors. And they also had refs on the field while you played. But EA Sports likes to say that Madden 2024 had the debut for refs being on the field and the Hall of Fame mode, which just is not true. Just because you add features that you took out doesn't mean that they are new, EA. Why can't you, EA, just leave all the features in? EA is lazy and money hungry, basing their whole game around the Madden Ultimate Team instead of the gameplay. EA needs to step it up for real. There is much more to talk about in the gameplay aspect, many, 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 much more, but I would be here all night. My video would probably come out to about 10 hours. I'm not even exaggerating. I just stated the problems that I thought was the most important. Now it's time to move into the presentation. Where do I even start? Well, let's just start at the very beginning then. When was the last time you saw a real NFL game start like this? It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Houston Texans and the Baltimore Ravens just ahead on EA Sports. Never. Where's the hype? It's gone. This makes me feel like I'm playing a high school football game. It's not big enough. Where's the fireworks? And the pyro? 
the crowd sounds like crickets too. What the heck is happening? Madden, the 25th anniversary, even filled with glitches and bad gameplay as well, at least had a better presentation than this. NBA 2K24 does this perfectly and has been for years now doing it perfectly, having a whole pre-game show and post-game show featuring the likes of Kenny the Jet Smith, Ernie Johnson, and Shaq. Yes, Shaq. And these are skippable too, so don't worry if you aren't into that kind of stuff, but as a fanatic myself, I am. What about the commentators? NBA 2K24 has three announcers and 30 different voices on the PA system. Meanwhile, Madden has the same two announcers saying the same dialogue for the last seven years straight. They are saying though that the next Madden will have different commentators which is a very good sign but my bet is that it will probably just be Tony Romo or something but hear me out guys with advancements in AI technology why can't we hear John Madden maybe announcing or Boomer Esiason or Chris Collinsworth and why can't we choose which announcer is announcing that game? Wouldn't that be freaking amazing? NBA 2K23 came out with a super cool feature that lets you play games with filters on to make the game feel nostalgic and old. Why is Madden not copying in their footsteps? You can't even play as an old team in Madden. You can't even play as the legends unless you want to play Madden Ultimate Team and spend money to get them. Like what? Now imagine a Madden where you can put an old filter and presentation on with John Madden himself commentating, and you can play as the 1980s Bears or something with Mike Ditka as coach. That would sell out in literally hours, I promise you. How amazing would that be? And while adding referees and Madden on the field for the first time since 19, there are still no cheerleaders. No coin toss? What? Yeah, you heard me right. You decide the coin toss not in the air, but instead in the team selection screen three minutes before the game even starts. Okay, so no chain gang? Yes, you're you're correct. There's no chain gang like older Madden's had. I love seeing them bring out the chain. It's suspenseful and awesome, but nope, not no more. You already had these features in the game. Why are you taking them back out? It makes no sense. There's also no fights. Even though we see them happen all the time in real life, there seems to be no fights in Madden 24. What? There were fights in Madden all the way in 2016. So there's no excuse EA, bring back the fun, and bring back the fight for the fumble too, this was just amazing, I love fighting for the fumble in older Maddens, I don't know why they still don't have this back in the newer games, because it happens all the time in real life, everyone always fights for the fumble, might as well put it in the game, stop being lazy, please EA, listen, there's no special stadiums like in Madden 2008, you could be in hell, and in Atlantis underwater, and even Antarctica. I would definitely love like a mud bowl stadium or a fog bowl stadium or heck even an ice bowl stadium and EA if you're listening to this video the stadium's not good enough if you do decide to put a cool weather related stadium in the game please make the game play according to the weather please pretty please EA for me with a cherry on top please stop being a bitch and give the people what they want if it's raining make me slip on the rain if it's cold Please, like, make my players shiver, do something, put some effort into your presentation. And they should have, like, a backyard football mode, like NBA has the blacktop and UFC has the backyard arena. That would be super dope. And no, I don't want it to be like that dumbass yard mode. I just want players without equipment playing regular tackle, or you can add flag, or you can add two and touch settings to it. Nothing fancy, no tricks, just a nice little touch of scenery. Also, there's no cutscenes, like, to the booth, or to the crowd, or to the cheerleaders. And to throw a challenge flag, it sucks. They don't let you choose what you want to challenge for like NFL 2K5 did. And after you challenge, the game pops up with the play selection letting you know the outcome of that challenge before the refs even say. We get the call we want. So not successful there on the challenge. This leaves out the suspense and excitement of a real fight. 
challenge, which is the whole main attraction to throwing a challenge flag, and most of the time the challenges are locked and don't even let you challenge the play in the first place, which is dumb. And why is that when players get injured, they hold the wrong body part? It's like, oh, my arm, oh, it hurts so bad, and then it pops up later saying he broke his ribs, like really come on now and why would you leave out concussions i get why you would want to leave out concussions you don't want to tarnish your brand but that still doesn't mean they don't happen literally all the time just last year 219 players got concussed so i'm pretty sure that that is tarnishing your brand more if it happens in real life than it would in a video game so put it back and when they do get injured they don't get carted off the field that's stupid as shit just look at this this guy's getting carted off the field right now look at him look at him look at him there he goes Hey, what happens? They just disappear in your game, I guess? I don't know. There's EA Sports marketing everywhere also, throughout the whole stadium instead of the real brands. Can't you sign like a marketing deal or something, EA, and get some more logos popping off throughout the stadium to make me feel more immersed in the game? I don't want to see your logo on my scoreboard, EA. I already know who EA is. I bought the game. I bought your dumb, stupid, little piece of shit game. I don't need to know that this is the game that I'm playing. Heck, even Madden 11 had Old Spice. That was good enough for me. Sheesh. So everywhere you look in the whole stadium, it's just like EA, EA here, EA there. E e e e e e e e e Makes no sense. Plus, there's no scuffs on helmets. What do you mean there's no scuffs on helmets? Heck, there aren't even helmet to helmet tackles, so you can't even get a helmet to helmet flag either. There's no arguing with refs, which happens all the time, and you can't trip over a ref, which happens all the time in real life, too. There's no arguing with coaches, even though we just saw that in the freaking Super Bowl. The fumble he comes over to Andy, he goes, Keep me in. Refs don't even throw physical flags. There's no physical flags that ever get thrown on the field. It just says a flag is called and skips right to the ref. There's no talking from the commentators about the flag either. They just say, hold on a minute, we got a flag. There's not even commentators faces like Madden 25th anniversary had. There's so many problems wrong with just the presentation alone. Even Madden 11, which by far is not super great, has a better presentation than Madden 24 could ever have or could ever dream of. Just watch this. Sit back and enjoy as we bring you one of the greatest sporting spectacles on earth, the Super Bowl. Welcome to Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Gus Johnson along with Chris Collinsworth. It's the biggest game in America, the Super Bowl, as the Indianapolis Colts take on the Saints. Tonight, we've got two Pro Bowl quarterbacks going at it, Chris, but both took very different paths. Gus, I don't think we have to do a lot to sell this matchup. Drew Brees against Peyton Manning, a rematch of last year's Super Bowl. And Peyton Manning, what a remarkable season he had. He won his fourth MVP award, was simply sensational, carrying his team for much of the season undefeated. Drew Brees did the exact same thing until they were finally knocked off late in the season by the Dallas Cowboys. But he regrouped the Saints, led them on to the first Super Bowl championship in that city. And what a moment it was for the city of New Orleans. A great story and a great storyline for this matchup tonight. Okay, now in conclusion, Madden just is a big piece of garbage and I hope EA sees this and fixes their game for real because it's starting to piss me off. I love playing football games. I wish I could play a football game that was fair, a football game that was fun, that had updated rosters. Hopefully, y'all can now understand more of why this game is so bad. I love you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment anything about maybe why you don't like Madden, what features you wish would go back in the game, or maybe why you do like Madden. And also share this video with your friends, someone that you know likes the NFL, likes football, or likes Madden, or just people that you know is frustrated with Madden too. And maybe just hopefully EA can see this and come to their senses. In the meanwhile, I'm Icy Originals. I love you. And this is why Madden is whack. Peace. <laughs>